Okay, so today we're doing a little bit of middle school tier list. So this may not be- We're boring. doing Xavier's favorite pastime, <laughs> judging the youth. So here's the thing. Hell yeah. We didn't go to middle school the same time everybody else did in the audience did. Talking about the boomers, uh, the zoomers. Yeah, we're hardcore millennials. We have MLG Pro, which is the best, obviously, and GTF O, which is the worst. Stands for get the fudge out. Yeah, you know how many girls I told to get the fudge out? Zero. <laughs> because Xavier cares. Uh, all right, so the chart goes from major league gaming <laughs> professional all the way to get the fuck out, bitch. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see what what trends yeah, go is, where. All right, so the first one's pretty easy, it's just One Direction. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I love Harry Styles. I okay. Hate the, I hate the rest of the four idiots. Have you, so, okay, One Direction? Yeah. Pretty fucking good. Are you, I'm thinking about like B. Uh, Are we thinking higher? I mean, would you go as far to say, like, the boy band of our time? I mean, yeah, probably. Like, kind of like the Backstreet of our time, the Backstreet sync of our well, time? we had two boy bands in this. What's the other? Oh, I can't, <laughs> I can't, can't know the other one. We'll All right, uh, put it in. We, we, we can go back and fine-tune shit later, too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. This okay. is just initial. We'll put him in B for now with them maybe coming back to give him a little a? bump. Maybe, yeah. I'll bump him in A for now, and then we'll, we'll talk it out later. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Somebody was supposed to pop a pill, and they didn't. Um... So what you guys missed is we put uh, One Direction in A. I'm not gonna ask what kind of pill you have to pop, but that is the first time I've seen a man with a pill timer. <laughs> all right, all right. Next we have Biebs, like the haircut. Like you know how everybody's getting the Justin Bieber haircut. The Justin Bieber haircut. Yeah. Um. I mean, I kind of love Justin Bieber now. <laughs> like the. I, I hated them in middle school, though. I don't know about you. I don't know. I never had the haircut. I think I might have been jealous of kids that could get the haircut oh. though, like low key. Me too. Like, I would. Do like, you fucking the, see this shit? You think I could get the haircut? I feel like you could. You have enough hair. You could have done it. What Damn, Xavier. <laughs> uh, that, that, that just looks emo. <laughs> do you want to put him at C? I don't know. C is exactly what I was thinking. Actually. I was like, I don't know. It didn't really bother me too much, but it also didn't change my life for the better. In no, it was whatever. Okay, Arizona iced tea. I still fuck with a nice Arizona iced tea. Yeah, I know. That's why I hate it and said, we have to put it in. I'm a big fan. I would love Arizona. I put that at MLG Pro, baby. How about that? I'm, I'm fine with MLG Pro. Arizona tea is tough. I was going to say, they, they've been 99 cents their entire life, except just recently at the gas station due to fucking inflation. They're like $1.29 now. Yeah, but, so but I still splurge to get the half lemonade, half tea sometimes. Pro tip, go to your local grocery store and buy them there. Shit's cheaper. It's like yeah. 50 cents, 64 cents, something Safeway's like that. Safeway's got crazy deals, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, I see what the next one <laughs> the is. The balance bands, do you remember the these? The balance bands? I'll tell you what. <laughs> they didn't work for you me You don't think so? No. Maybe because I was bow legged, but you they not, never remember, worked for me. I remember these things, they had like a specific test. Good. I could set it on the top of his head, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> a little bit of a difference? Yeah. Considerably. They're like, okay, grab your ear, then stand up on one foot. And then, like, I did it, and I was like, whoa, I can't even stand. And then I grabbed the thing, and I did it, and I was like, oh, yeah. yeah I, no, <laughs> I, a bull could try to come move me right You're now. You're getting placebo so hard. Ma you know. Dude, say it if you will, but I... <sighs> I would I would take that placebo into battle any day. I, I was bow-legged, so I was unbalanced no matter what I did. <laughs> What do you mean you were bow-legged? You'd still be bow-legged. Yeah, but I'm more charismatic about it now. You can put that pretty low. D, 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 D. Possibly GTFO, but we'll do D No, because it worked for me a little bit. Okay, well, if you kind of like it. Yeah. Okay, chokers. I used to call them cringe so much, but low-key kind of had big crushes on the girls that were chokers. I don't know how you feel. Chokers? Yeah. I'll tell you this, when they when 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 they first came to the scene, I was like, these these poor ladies. <laughs> what are they doing to themselves? Like wow. that there's no way that's comfortable all day. There's no respect for then, women bodies anymore. And then I think at some point in middle school I hit puberty and I was like, Yeah, I get it. I put it at a B. B, because I wouldn't say C? it's an A. No, I wouldn't say it's a C. I, I'm okay it, with it, it, it it made middle school better, but I wouldn't say that it was like as, I don't think it made it as good as One Direction made it. <laughs> back to back shorts. So we're starting with the camo shorts first. The camos? Yeah, you know the classic camo that everyone always wore. I've seen uh, some girls in the legging camos, dude. I don't know. I Did you wear much camo shorts? Oh, no. 
I remember I had camo pants. And <laughs> <laughs> my dad took me to like the army surplus store one day, like random day in sixth grade. And I bought kind of weird when you go to the, the surplus store. Cause I don't know exactly the origins of the uniforms that you're getting. Like, is it really just surplus? Like they have too many or is it like this guy died and you <laughs> They have too many because yeah, you can, you can only die in one uniform. <laughs> but <laughs> those two, those can get the fuck out. I didn't wear them at all. Nah, I would neither. never wear them. But cargo shorts on the other hand, cargo shorts, especially two long cargo shorts. Uh, oh. I would say they they got me through many days. <laughs> they were the MLG Pro for me. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, this next one's fire. Chain text messages. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh. Dude, Send this to five people your mom will do you remember the, die. Do you remember the one that came around like every Christmas and it was like, it was like, well, well, what's up you candy cane cum sub and can't cum guzzler? It's Dick Sember. <laughs> <laughs> it was like some crazy shit. And then the best one, the one says, send this to five people and your crush will appear at the end of your bed tonight. Oh yeah. <laughs> Send this to ten of your best friends and your girlfriend. Your, <laughs> your girlfriend will your, suck your, your secret wiener. crush that doesn't know you exist. She's well, gonna no. climb in your window <laughs> late at night. <laughs> B or A. I'd put that at. I put it never it, worked though. Oh, I'm sorry. It <laughs> <laughs> worked for Woo! you. Looks like you didn't send it to enough people. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I didn't send them to you, buddy. Wait, I, was, I was gonna say C. Okay, yeah, put him at put him at C. No, you're right. Okay. Put him at C. Okay, and then follow up with the text message. We have the cringe. Uh, people post on Snapchats. Ask me any of these twenty questions. You remember those cringe Ooh. snaps? They always had like, uh, oh, ask me something anonymously. Those were, those were cringe as fuck. Yeah. Very not cool to do. And then you always had your fingers crushed. Like, oh, I hope my crush. I was going to say. my crush text me number six. But <laughs> it's a very easy way to not. It's a very easy way to talk to people if you don't, if you're not confident just to talk to people. <laughs> like if like, the, the cute girl posts that up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. Fuck. Like, <laughs> number three. Let's no, see I'm what, not a virgin. Let's see what you have to think <laughs> about me. And it's always the same thing because you're always the quiet guy in the class. It's always. You're so random and fun. <laughs> we should talk sometime. Hags. <laughs> Hags. Uh, like my tweet for a to be honest. And then someone would like girls would tweet it. Or girls, girls would like it. And I'd be like, to be honest, you're honestly super pretty. Aww. I think you're such a beautiful soul. And I'd just love to get to know you a little bit better. And they'd be like, oh, Ethan. Send me an emoji. Just say what you mean about me. Red means you love me. Blue means I'm a cool guy. Send me a 100 if I can trust you. <laughs> The Cookie Monster hat and snapbacks in general. Ooh, the Cookie Monster now. is just the most iconic one, so I threw that down. I have not seen any of these that we're doing right now, but Xavier told me we're, we're doing like high school fashion stuff, and I told him about this one, that you have to put the Cookie Monster snapback. This is Ethan's idea. In the fashion tier. Do you, do you not remember the tap out hats though? A lot of, there's usually the Latino guys, Latinos, yeah, <laughs> the Mexicans. I remember the tap out hats. I remember the cookie hat hats more though i remember i remember cookie monster's hat on with riding a bmx bike with a thirst buster in one hand and a little caesar's pizza in the other <laughs> that be, was me this might I be didn't... controversial right here but if you were a girl wearing that you're bisexual now <laughs> yeah no it's true i believe it i know disrespect if you are but that's just usually how i know works. a girl i know the girl that dude i put that at a hey i'm seeing a as well a or MLG Pro? That might be the MLG Pro for me too. I might, I mean, I may, I might have two. I might have to. Have I'm gonna drop it in. Drop put it in. I'll there. drop it. Put in it in there. there. I want it in there. All right. So we have right. the DC shoes and the Osiris shoes. <sighs> the ones that are just like way too massive for your foot, dude. Oh, and I forgot Hewleys. But Hewleys you... is supposed to go in here too. Okay. That's my bad. I Anyone Hewleys. that knows Ethan Sellers knows this, knows that it is synonymous with Hewleys. Yeah, we'll, we'll do. They Hewleys. call me Ethan Healy Sellers until I was in seventh grade. I was a huge DC person for a while because <laughs> you know wide foot flat foot you're my yeah. age you that need, was my exact problem you need too style. I'm really into dirt biking DC's DC shoes had like a lot of shit to do with dirt bikes and whatnot oh I'm just saying man I just I wanted to be a skater them. that's why I wore them but now if I look back on them, they look like what you wear in Sesame Street at the time I put them at a B or an A at the time right now I would put them at a C yeah I'm, I'm down with C for both of them the Osiris's? No, motherfucker. I'd put that at a G. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dude. good. Because DC definitely is better than, than At Osiris's. the time, though. <laughs> MLG, baby. <laughs> I got my roommate giving me the double birds right now because I know he was an Osiris fan. No, no. You know what? My mom, I think she was looking out for me on that one because I told her, Mom, I want a pair of those. And she's like, Ethan, your chubby little white ass is not going to fucking wear those like you think you're going to. 
I'm going to get you the vans and we're going to be happy. <laughs> and I said, all right, mom. Thank God. And they she got saved my vans. life. Keep calm and teach me how to Dougie. <laughs> yeah, I could pop down a C or a D for this one, honestly. Dude, I don't know. That you Did, that song, still, it's still pretty fucking gnarly. That's true. But when like, it comes on at the club, I, I feel like it brings me to a B or an A. A B or an A? Yeah. All right. We also got jerking, though, so keep that in mind. That's another classic dance. Okay, then I'd say put the Dougie at the B. At the B and then jerking at A? Jerking at A. Dude, everybody was jerking in middle school. Jerking? Uh, yeah, middle school, I was jerking every day. I was every jerking day behind every, the day. Bath, every day. Every day behind the bus stop, just <laughs> me. Me Once and my friends. Once in the shower, we'd, we'd, then I'd come home, take a second shower, and I'm jerking the shower. Me and my friends, we'd put the speaker on loud as fuck, just start jerking. <laughs> jerking all day long. Sometimes we jerk each other, yeah. <laughs> oh. Right. Duct tape wallets, baby. Duct tape wallets? How many did you make? Me? Probably like 30. You made 30? No, I made one. I made a bunch of duct tape roses. I made one. I made I, a bunch of duct tape roses, though. I made... Really? Did you give them to girls? Oh, you know it. I was like, hey, you can also write with it, babe. I, don't, I, I, I believe that. Because I remember on the... on Me and Xavier used to work at a, at a local movie theater together. On the on this fucker's first day, he takes a rag, makes a swan with it, and we got me swan. And I was like, okay. New guy, huh? No, it was <laughs> my first day. It was my third. <laughs> No way, it must have been your first day. <laughs> Probably was my first. You just whipped out an origami swan and I was like, alright, this fucking guy. Honestly, duct tape wallets are A for me. Yeah? Yeah, because I couldn't afford a real wallet. A lot of kids were on the hustle back then and I would, I, I think I bought one from a kid. Oh yeah, kids used to sell that shit. Alright, what's the next one, Xavier? Okay, so do Let's you remember- Let's get right into it. Do you remember this like skunk hair girls used to do where they used to have the black, the purple? Yes. Yeah, the and big then hair. this is also highlights too, just all of that like dyed hair as a whole. The emo phase? Dude, I kind of- I thought girls were kind of cute when they had the emo hair. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I grew up in Utah, dude. <laughs> and in Utah, at the time when I was there anyway, it was very obvious that you either were Mormon or you looked like this bitch. <laughs> 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 and I was fucking, I was going home asking my mom to dye my hair black like every day. And again, mom was like, Ethan, you're gonna look fucking weird. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, and so, so maybe not an A for you. <laughs> maybe not an A for me, but I'd put that at a C or a B. No, you, 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 you think they're rockets, huh? They you are. think they're top ten? Well, I'll put it B because if you're thinking, if I'm thinking A and you're thinking C, B, we can count. B. I was like, you know, I mean, I'm sure I thought a couple of the girls were on the hotter side of things. Yeah, the Mormons that were like a little edgy though. <laughs> The edgy Mormons, the edgy yeah. Mormons, yeah. Band boys playing the guitar with the fedoras out in the grassy field. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like you <laughs> today. No no, no. no, no, that's me. Yeah, that's me today. This kid, get the fuck out. I yeah, they would hiss guy. at me sometimes. I didn't like this kid. Uh, I remember this kid did a uh, like way extracurricular. Like he, I was in band. I just played the saxophone. And this kid was in choir and he came in, asked the teacher if he could do his own solo with his own guitar. And he like did his own solo guitar thing in front of the whole like school during an assembly. And I remember thinking so clear to myself, I was like, if I was as shitty as him, I would <laughs> never ask to, to perform anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna name drop anything, but I, in wrestling in high school, you know, you. This kid was this kid was anorexic probably in eighth grade, high school kid got ripped. I was just gonna say this kid in the locker he literally had the biggest dick I ever seen in my life, <laughs> uncircumcised and everything like fucking. I didn't want to see it. Someone told me one day after practice they were like, <laughs> they're like check this dog shit out man. Uh anyway cootie catchers. <laughs> Fortune tellers. Oh yeah, those favorite. things are pretty sick. Oh, yeah, dude, those are A for me. I don't know about you. <laughs> you like them? Yeah, well, I used to make them all the time, bro. Like you, oh my hat got fucked up. Uh, like you built them? Oh yeah, I used to do all origami. I used to make the swan. Remember, I made the swans. We were just talking about it. Yeah, that is true. Paper airplanes. I used to do all that. You can put that at A. I'm thinking A, big. That part. was a that was a big part of it. And what about those Gatorade bottles that every kid had them? <laughs> Every time you squeeze them, do you remember those? I thought them fuckers were sick. I liked yeah. them. I, I always wanted one, but I never had one. I liked them because they would give you like the perfect stream. And then the second you let go, it, like you could you could do like the perfect stream like at the mall sometimes where they have the fountains that shoot like little <laughs> yeah. jet. Dude, and the piss jokes that would I'd be over on them? the sidelines like, and you just watch. 
You know how many piss jokes I made with those two? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll go up to A. I'll do A. I'm I think A. I think if I had to choose a water bottle today, I'd still choose that one. Dude, what is this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I get, okay, never mind. <laughs> Highlighter kids, you know what I'm talking about? Those bright Nike shorts. And yeah, that, you're disrespecting a future U.S. Army soldier, that kid. <laughs> it's crazy, because that actually was me. I used to wear shit like that. Really? <laughs> yeah, in, in middle school. How? More elementary, though. That's a D. D, D. I think that's a D. Okay. No one wants to be a Sharpie kid. Uh, <laughs> smoking weed out of tinfoil? Well, just, <laughs> just, just, just homemade pipes in general. Homemade pipes Yeah, you know the general. Dr. Pepper can? I never did this, Mom. But homemade, like, Dr. Pepper cans, homemade tinfoil, all that stuff. I mean... I know. Did you? Or are we not allowed to say it for you? <laughs> I'll tell you this. I didn't do none of this in middle school. I was a clean kid. So I don't know. Get the fuck out. That's where I put it. <laughs> Get the fuck out. I don't fucking know what that shit's like. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not my that's not my my expertise. You saved it. <laughs> Give me some of that. Now okay. scarves? Mormon girl scarves. You know the ones that were like necklaces almost? Oh, that's kind of that's a nice little feminine look in the wintertime. Yeah. It's, it's pretty pretty. She used they used to wear those, the sweaters and the leggings and their Starbucks were there. Where oh, I went nice. to school. Oh, you had Starbucks. to get up early, and you didn't have time to get Starbucks. We'll get all the white girls. Yeah, you, you missed first period. <laughs> Miss first period. The scarves? I don't know. I didn't give a shit about them. Me I, neither. I'd I'm say gonna throw that in D as well. Throw it in D, dude. Hey, but the Uggs, though? What about those? I fucking hated Uggs. I think Uggs look so ugly on Me everyone. Me too. One, one GTF on Yeah, get those the fuck out of here. Okay, and then Starbucks? Getting I in fuck, first period. I like Starbucks. <laughs> I don't, but I mean, I'm willing to compromise because they are pretty iconic. Dude, Starbucks in eighth grade, especially. I feel like iFunny was big in eighth grade. Oh, I forgot to do iFunny. I yeah. feel like iFunny was big in eighth grade. People <laughs> were like, people were like doing all like the I secret, would have been secret, an secret recipes thing. Oh yeah, iFunny is an MLG thing. Just put Starbucks at a B. That doesn't B? deserve okay. a fucking. I'm, I'm thinking a C or a D, but I'll I'll move up to a B just because the. Okay, hookah pens. Maybe a C. Maybe put it as C. Okay. Put it as C. Hookah pens. <laughs> hookah pens. <laughs> yeah. Man, if you had one of these bad girls, you were the shit and then some. Dude. You were fucking the If you man. did a hookah pen in middle school, no offense, Hayden, you're probably on meth now. <laughs> not, I, dude, not where I, really? No, you no, I'm joking, oh, I'm joking, brother. I'm joking. I feel like that was a bad time, because like, <laughs> in middle school, so many of us had like older siblings that were fucking buying hookah pens and stuff. <laughs> to be honest, as shitty as it is to say, I was always jealous of like the kids I had them in middle school. B? <laughs> put him at a B. <laughs> okay, we'll put him at a B. B is kind of sick for the hookah. Okay, Jersey Shore. I'm talking about those dudes who wear white beaters with the gold chains. Dude. And they have all the bitches wanted to look like Snooky. Like the actual show? Or are you talking about just like the. the uh, like the, all of it. Like the influence. The influence, I guess, too. Well, the show, looking back on it now, is fucking MLG. Really? I hated the show. You like the show? Like, when you were younger, you hated the show, or now you hate the show? Oh, now, I've always hated the show. I look at the show now, and I love it. It's so, like, drama, action-packed. Like, so funny. Like, I don't Hayden's know. He's shaking his head right now. It's good. <laughs> Dude, uh-uh. He's fucking, he, he knows what's good for him. Oh, <laughs> Hayden's our producer, by the way, in case you... <laughs> yeah. I pull that up, Hayden. Now you're trying to be right, now, I will never be a that thing during my... I Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I don't know. I say, I say, uh, Jersey Shore. Yeah. I'd say A, dude. A. For can me, we, it's an A. Can we compromise and go B? Because I don't yeah, like it that much. Yeah, we can go B. We can go B if that's what, right. if that's what you feel. All right. Okay, the Jonas Brothers. Nick Jonas is MLG Pro for me, but the other two, I'm not gonna lie, knock them down to an A. The only concert I have ever been to in my life is Hannah Montana oh. Oh, opened up for by oh. the Jonas Brothers oh. that my mom won the tickets on Radio Disney. Yo, I might pop MLG Pro for Miley Cyrus. Jonas Brothers? And then pop them at an A. They were pretty hot at the time, dude. Yeah. They were like, they, Camp Rock, baby? They had like five songs that like we're just non-stop. Hannah Montana, she's MLG Pro I'll as well. I'll put MLG 100%. Wait, you want to put them in MLG? No, they can go in A. I'm thinking A. My so. sister, though, she was the biggest, like, fan of theirs that I'd ever known. Like, literally, you go in her room, 
there was not a wall anywhere. It was yeah. all magazine cutouts, even on the ceiling. Oh. Like crazy, <laughs> crazy the person. Oh, she... When we moved from Utah to Arizona, she saved them all and put them all in folders so that she could re put them up in her new play and in her new room. And then she was like, oh, wait, I'm fucking 16 years old. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, uh, kick. Do you remember pictures asking you, like, oh, you got kick? Because they didn't have iPhones yet, so they were like, oh, I need a new way to text them. From what I remember, Kick was nudie central. Oh, yeah, you got a it lot was of like, on there. It was like, oh, I don't want to text you when I'm about to fucking text you. <laughs> yeah. But I will I will kick it on over, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. See? See? It See? was just like a core thing. I didn't hate it, but like... It was just a core thing that like, yeah, it, middle school wouldn't have been middle school without Kick. Nah, exactly, yeah. Okay, what about Vine? Vine, I loved Vine. I tried to be a big Viner a. for a while. That's an A, instant A for me. <laughs> instant A. Yeah, which is funny because I don't like TikTok too much now, but I love Vine, so I don't know. Oh, it's a shame. I do like TikTok too. I wish I didn't like TikTok, but I do. What about Tumblr though? Get the fuck out. Never had an account. Never, never, been, been, never been interested in having an account. I was going to put Pinterest on here too, but it's just Tumblr. I feel like Tumblr is where you go when you don't know where to put your couch in your house. <laughs> And you need to see how a different white bitch did it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see here. The sidekick flippy phone? Yeah, sidekick flippy phone. Honestly, badass. I know. I want to put him in A. Badass. <laughs> yeah. If Because, like, before the iPhone, if you were mm, texting and then... Oh, dude. Because before this, I just had the front phone. And I got so fast at texting, like, just the buttons, right? Oh, the T9. And then, yeah, and the T10 or whatever this came out, slide it up. <laughs> Dude, I got so quick with it. That's the only reason I know how to type on QWERTY these days. You know I'm talking about the T9 texting mode, right? Yo, yeah, yeah. Not the T9 model cell phone. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, what are you talking about then? Because you said, I said, you, you, Is you it got- Is T9 what it's called? I said you got good at the T9 texting, and then you said, yeah. And then the T10 came out. <laughs> aren't, these L, aren't these LG T10 phones? Isn't that what they're called? I don't know, they're just LG. I had an LG Shine. Oh, maybe I have no idea. What's T9 then? I've never heard that. T9 is like the texting. Because like, nine cause buttons. Because you, you know how there it's nine buttons, but you know how like uh, each one has like four letters? Yeah. And ABC texting is like you have to hit like, to get to B, you have to hit one twice. You have to go one, two, like that. Yeah. And then like, but T9 is you just hit the numbers of like the letters oh. that you did and it guesses what, what word you're trying That's to say. That's called T9? Yeah, that's T9 texting. Oh, I thought you were talking about the phone the whole time. I'm an idiot. I got sick, nasty, fast at the <laughs> T9 texting. You have the Blackberry freaking ball ever? My dad gave that to me in high school when I got in cheek. I mean, this sounds very first world problem me, but he took away my iPhone in high school. Yeah. Then he gave me his old Blackberry. <laughs> and I was like, oh, dad, this thing's fucking a drag. Okay, otter boxes. You remember these things? Oh, yeah. Everybody had those on their iPhone freaking fives and fours. I think, uh,. I never had one though. You never had one? I for mm -hmm. sure had one and it saved me many, many times from yeah? cracking it cracking an iPhone. Yeah, I'd say put that in like the B or A. B or A? Okay, I'll go I'll go with B. You cool with B? B for sure. Okay. They weren't cool. If you have an otter box, you're not cool. No. <laughs> Tell you that. But you, they're good protection. But you do care about your electronics and that is cool. That is cool as you get older and you have to buy your own electronics. Okay, the knee the knee high converse. Uh, bad boys? Dude, even these things. I remember I had a crush on this girl in middle school. And Did she wear the purple ones or the black ones? Ooh, I don't remember. <laughs> I really could have been either. Same I remember vibe. some cuties wearing the purple ones. But uh, I remember I had a crush on this girl like every day. And <laughs> one day she wore these fucking knee high Converse. And I was like, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> okay, how about the goth look? The, the long goth hair? The emo hair? Like, I mean, that's kind of the same thing as the other skunk chick. Wherever she's at, see, it was kind of like, you know, I, I got it. I thought the goth look was kind of cool yeah. for a second. I'll put it right under. I can put it at C. All right. Ready for the next one? Naturalism. You yes. Mr. Worldwide. Remember the freaking collabs you used to hit with Kesha? Mr. 805, <laughs> aka <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. I remember Fucking bro Pitbull. Let me tell you something about Pitbull, <laughs> all right? If you've seen the Instagram video, when you Google his name, he comes up before the dog. All right, so I should tell you a little something about Pitbull. <laughs> He's fucking MLG pro as shit, I think. I'll pop an MLG pro. Dude, ML dude, 
I used to think I was so Pitbull awesome. Pitbull just fucking banger after banger after banger after banger. All right, let's uh, on to the next one. Okay, the graphic t-shirts. You know, the ones where like, oh, I, I, must I will ask trade you a my question. Yeah, I must ask you a question. I will trade my sister for pizza and games. Uh, oh. Remember the classic, like, I got your back? <laughs> and there's two stick figures. Dude, there was this kid in a... Uh, in my class and he had one that said like we be jamming or something like that. It was peanut butter and jam, huh? <laughs> it was like peanut butter and jelly, yeah. And we all made fun of him so bad. I used to wear those all the time, but they're definitely D or GTFO for me now. Uh, I'd say D, yeah. They're not so bad that you have to get the fuck out, but they don't wear them around me. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't want to see them. If you wear them, wear them ironically, maybe. Wear it ironically and then we can yeah. fucking talk. Okay, how about the Nike Elite socks? Remember those shit? Everybody yeah. Everybody had that. And I never did. Me neither. I never had Nike Elite socks. And I remember I used to like the kids. We used to like trade Nike Elite socks. <laughs> kids used to be fucking dying their own Nike Elite socks. Dude, the yellow and the uh, the the freaking neon yellow and blue ones. Remember those? Yes. Yeah. Kids used to. And my school was blue and gold, so like kids would wear those a lot. I actually had one pair of Nike Elite socks. And they were way too fucking small. And I still tried to shove my fucking feet in them like every day in eighth grade. I say D. I mean, D. they're not that cool. They were like 15, they're like 20 bucks for one pair of socks. Oh, they were overpriced. My mom would never get them for me or yeah. for that reason. No, they were stupid as hell. Do you remember the choking game? We'd go, <gasps> and then you'd lay on the floor and then your homie would push your chest in to make you pass out. Oh, yeah. Are you kids did that. Yeah, kids. Yeah. Kids did that standing at my school. I oh. never seen him. I never seen him laying down. Oh, really? We always did the coffin, and people would just go push your chest. And go. Oh. This girl in my eighth grade class, she did that in the middle of the classroom, like fucking, like not, not going to cause a scene or anything. And she she passes out, fucking slams her head on a desk. Like everyone's like, oh, what the fuck just happened? And then it's always awkward with like she's waking up and everyone, and then you start to realize you're like, oh. She did this to herself. <laughs> D. <laughs> All right, Razor scooters. Razor scooters are absolutely top tier number one. A, a or MLG for More me. More kids have got like think about like Razor as a company just said, you know what? None of these kids can get fucking anywhere. <laughs> Let's give them all a scooter for 40 bucks. <laughs> dude, either my, my shins would not be as strong as they were if it weren't for Razor scooters. That's dude. fucking MLG, dude. <laughs> I'll throw MLG. All right, how about rip sticks? MLG as well. MLG I love the well. stick. Dude, oh, when the cuties used to drive those with the fat asses, dude. You know what I'm talking about, dude? Like, yeah, I know, because I'd ride behind them. I'd be right behind them also ripping, fucking following the cuties with the fat asses. Just ripping and dipping, bro. And you're like, why wow, you real good on that I was, stick. Yeah, I remember I didn't know how to rip stick, and then I had one for like a year, and then I moved to Arizona, and our neighbors could rip stick, and I was like, dude, you gotta teach me. Oh, I didn't learn until like two years ago. I don't know what this is, but Hayden said it was like those ringtone commercials on MTV where they say, text this number to get Oh, a new yeah, ringtone. like the gummy bear one. Do you I, know what I'm talking about? Oh! Aw, get this cute little bunny as your new ringtone. You just sparked the memory, because when Hayden was talking about it, I didn't remember. Yeah. But the gummy bear one was huge. I'll tell you right now, I was always really bummed I couldn't get that one, because that one was cute as fuck. The little yeah. bunny. Put them at C. See, I'm I don't know. C. Cause I was indifferent they about didn't, them. They didn't make my life better or worse. Yeah, I don't remember them until you said the gummy bear one. That sparked memory, but. Silly do you bands. remember Silly Bands? The different shapes and you said will and deal and trade those guys? I remember uh, they were out for like six weeks. Like they were already a hot thing. Oh yeah. My sister finally like got our, my, our mom to take us to the store to get some Silly Bands. And she bought my sister two packs and didn't buy me any. <laughs> <laughs> and I stole two Silly Bands from my sister and I like, Gave them away at school the next day, and I was like, all right, I thought this was for me. It's not for me. Because they were dumb. Oh, it was okay. fucking dumb bracelets. I liked them. I liked them. I used to scout. I used to, like, like look through the couch and stuff like that for, like, quarters, anywhere I could find it, just to get enough to buy a pack, maybe. C or a B, I guess. I'm okay with C. They were hyped for me, but looking back on them, stupid. Yeah. Now, Shutter Shades, did you ever have a pair? No, I didn't, but I used to, like I said, I used to love people Does, I'd be so jealous. That's one of those things that like, I didn't really realize how much of a pioneer of fashion my sister was. Cause she had two pairs of shutter shades and I used to wear one of them. And I was fucking pumped when I found out later on that like wearing shutter shades was a cool thing to do. So I like shutter shades. I give them like a B. I'll give them a, a B. A. Cause I thought they were cool. Super iconic talkies. 
And I actually really like how they taste. I'll, I'm down to give those an A, personally. Someone has to say it. Here, I'll say it. Everyone eats a Taki like they're sucking a dick. All hot girls do. MLG Pro? <laughs> or A? I would have put it at get the fuck out for that. No, <laughs> I'm okay with B. Temple Run? Temple Run, yeah. I used to go crazy on Temple Run. That was good. Yeah. I like Temple Run. I'll pop that on a B or an A, honestly. I put that at an A. A, I'm down with A. That was one of the better parts of middle school, I think. Yeah, we used to play those at freaking at lunch, dude, but the, we weren't allowed to have oh, our yeah. phones, so anytime a little... It was just cool to have a game that, like, it was, like, you just knew, every, everyone knew their high score, and, like, you could just go to someone, hey, what's your high score? Am I better than you? No? Oh, okay, that's cool. Anyway, Daniel Tosh. <laughs> Daniel Tosh, and, like, Ridiculousness, remember that show, too? Yeah, those were... Web, web shows back in the day. I was a big fan of both of those. Me, too. I really liked those shows. I think, I... In middle school, I probably laughed the hardest at Daniel Tosh, maybe. Oh, me too. He's genius. I put him at an A. And then remember that air horn video? The one where the fat kid gets the air horn to the face? Oh, I know which one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that video is classic. Can we put that in? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of my favorite Daniel Tosh moments of all time. No way that they found that. Yeah. <laughs> is it really about to play again? All right, moving on. All right, talking Tom. Uh, I do that zero impact on me in middle school. Bro, I hated it. I fucking zero hated it. impact on me. Would you put it at C then? Because I want to put it at GTFO. Yeah, put it at get the fuck out. I don't All care. Right. Now I tried to put the three most iconic ones last year. Uh, so we got swag, YOLO, and the I Heart boobies. Is it is it the swag the a shirt that says hashtag swag or just swag in just general? Just swag in general, because you know everybody was saying swag back then. I used to think it was cringy, honestly. Yeah, it was one of those things that everyone knew it was cringy. I think, but, but like, everyone still said it. Yeah, I'd put it at like B, maybe put B? swag at B. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking C. I, I I'll I'll move up for you though if you want. You know what? You could put it at C. You could so. put it at C. Okay. Because it wasn't very good. YOLO is the same thing for me. Although I do. YOLO, I think you got to put at a B. I'll put it at B. Because there's it, a whole fucking song made about it. Yeah. And Drake was my favorite rapper around that time. I'll put it at B. Yeah. Okay. And then now the I Heart Boobies, which I never had, but it supported breast cancer or didn't support it. Whatever the good one is. My mom had... She took, us, she took us to Zoomies. No, <laughs> dude. But she took us to Zoomies and she let me and my sister both get an I Heart Boobies bracelet. The next day, my school was like, Ethan, you have to take that off right Aww, now. You, you got dress code? You have to put it in your backpack and we're going to take a net home to your mom saying that you have something on your bracelet that says you like boobies. And dude, I was like, it's like but good. guys, it's for breast cancer. And then like a week later, they sent an email saying like you could wear them. But I lost mine by that point. <laughs> I went somewhere near a black hole of a backpack. Yeah, so it, was, it went somewhere deep in the bowels of my Swiss Army million pocket jackpack, <laughs> backpack. So yeah, I man. put those at like an A. I thought they were sick and they did help breast cancer. Okay, and then now we'll do honorable mentions because I didn't put them in. Uh, the classic S that everyone used to draw. Remember oh, the, yeah. three lines and that, the three lines? That's MLG Can Pro. Can put that up? I funny. I funny. That's MLG Pro for put me. Put I funny up there. Oh yeah, then Huey's that we forgot to put in. I got him in elementary school, like fourth grade, and I was a bit of a uh, pussy, and I was too scared to fool on Huey because I didn't want to fall. So I'd always do little half ones real quick. Dude, I remember <laughs> when I was in like third grade, I had Huey's, and I was at the movie theater, and like you know how when you after you go down the stairs, it like you go down the ramp after that, and it's like dark and it's <laughs> carpeted and it's really smooth. I was Huey and down that, like, and the crowd of people was in front of me. And I it just ate shit right behind them. Like, they were walking out the door. I just wham so fucking hard. And then I just remember them turning around and being like, are you okay? Where's your mom? And I was like, I'm fine. Like, I was like trying so hard not to cry. I was like, I'm fine. I'm okay. And like, I just ran. Yeah. I feel comfortable with our list. None of the, none of our squares are in the same, end in the same number. Oh, wow. That's variety if ever. That's seen how it. you know it's good. That's how you know we did fair grading okay then i think i'm good with this list too i'm ecstatic with this list all right cool thanks